please consider subscribing or joining as a member. Thanks and enjoy the video. So, you are new to HANA Showdown. Good. I will tell you everything that I wish I knew when I was a new player. Sure, you can watch other guides, but this one will give you head start, the best settings, tips and tricks and so on. So this is you launching the game for the first time ever. So what now? Oh, well you're gonna be in the training, sure, do the training. Make sure to try and read all the tutorial hints that you see. There is a lot of them, yes, but if you read them all or most of them, you'll understand the game way more clearly. So this one is easy, you need to locate the target by using the clues, then you can kill the target, which is the boss, you, you banish the target, and from the target you get the bounty token, and with that token you need to extract. That's the point of the bounty hunt game mode, which is the main game mode of the NR game. There is more game modes, but for that, later. So, we are in tutorial now. As you can see on the right side, you can see some tips and tricks. I recommend reading them later on. Like, of course, now it's like how to move, but later on, you're gonna see more important tips and tricks that you, you need to know. And of course, like every other game, you wanna change your default settings. So you press escape, you go to options, and here we start. Ooh, it's kinda confusing, right? Well, let's start from the beginning. Control scheme, Gunslinger. I would recommend you playing Gunslinger because it's more welcoming to new players and it's easier to use. But the field of view, it's, it's the lowest one. I don't know why, but it's the lowest one. I recommend setting it on 100 or more. 100 or more is probably the best for Gunslinger. And another very important settings is this. Lowered state field of view. As you can see in default, when I have this, and I switch weapons, the FOV moves. When I try to sprint, the FOV also moves. The screen gets like more FOV and less FOV. It's very painful for the eyes. So change it from default to zoom. If you have it like this, then the FOV will stay like this. Switching weapons will, won't affect it. Running won't affect it. So yeah, this is way better. The other stuff, it doesn't really matter. But here, the sensitive settings. Some people might get confused. Default. They think default settings is how you how you are right now. It's the default settings, no? No, this is hipfire, aka the shoulder aim. The, the default setting sensitivity is for when you press Q, you switch weapons, right? But when you hold Q, you holster the weapon. So, why would you do this? Like, why would you holster your weapon? Because when you aim your weapon like this, and you are close to the wall, it can stick through the wall and people can wall bang you. So when you are in the buildings, you wanna hold Q to holster a weapon like this, and then people cannot wall bang you because you are not aiming through the wall. And this is the default sensitivity when you have your weapon holstered. The shoulder aim sensitivity is actually the hip fire. So it's this. This is the shoulder aim, aka hip fire. The aim down sight sensitivity is when you right click and here you're aiming. That's the aim down sight. The other ones are for the scopes. Which I recommend changing once you play the scope, because now you don't know how the scope is gonna be, so wait until you play those scopes and then you can change it. HUD settings. I think I recommend here leaving it all on default, it's pretty good. Audio, also all on default. And the graphic settings. Oh, the graphic settings default in this game are weird. We are locked on 60 FPS with motion blur, depth of field. You wanna maybe disable this, you wanna put more FPS, depends on your PC. And with this, you are good to go. As you can see, even with this RTX 70, the game puts me on lower settings, which is default for everyone. So if you have a better PC, change your quality to medium or high and then press apply. In the advanced settings, you don't need to really look at this, but if you have a very weak PC and you wanna get the best performance settings, then I recommend putting this on and turning those off. This is the best performance settings. And here as well, turn this off as well. It will require restart, but then you should be good to go. If you wanna view your FPS in the game, then performance stats and put on basic. Then you can see on top right your FPS counter and ping. So now we are in training mode, what does it mean? Well, you can die as many times as you want. You can do whatever you want. There is no players, there is only AI and there is some tips and tricks to welcome you to the game. So don't be scared to shoot, don't be scared to use certain weapons. Use your knife, learn how to heal. You can use spyglass, which is probably most useless tool in the game. So in tutorial, I would recommend you to play it by yourself. Don't skip it, because you are welcome with the tips and tricks from the hunt. And you'll learn how the game works. So we're gonna press E, 
and collect those clues. Once you get three clues on the map, you'll see where is the boss. Then you kill the boss, take the token and extract in one of those points you can see here. So once you complete tutorial, you can play it again with advanced settings and professional settings, which basically gives you additional AI, more boss health and basically a harder tutorial. You don't need to do this, but as you can see, it gives you in-game premium currency, 50, 75, 125. So if you have time, I would do them all because then with the premium currency, you can buy some skins, which, which is pretty nice. But for now, we're gonna skip the training. And you are in a game for the first time. You select your region, whatever you play. You can select only one. You don't need to select the second one. As you can see, you select one and you press close. And here you are welcomed in a game. And there is three game modes right now. The bounty hunt, the main one that you played in the training mode, quick play and trials. Quick play, as you can see, is a solo 15 minutes last man standing games. And you are basically alone against 11 other players. Trials is basically offline PvE mode where you don't fight any players, but you fight with the time, with the AI and multiple challenges. For those challenges, you also get some free rewards. So if you have time or if you want to, I would recommend doing the trials as well. So it doesn't matter, whatever you click, go to bounty hunt. As you can see, there is event happening right now. But if you watch it later, the event might be over after 14 days. But don't worry, there is going to be more events in the future. You get welcome to the newsfeed, twice. And as you can see, the UI, oh my god, it's pretty confusing, right? Well, don't worry. I don't know, maybe if you are watching this later, the UI might be different. Because the devs recommended that the UI will be changed. Because this is kind of confusing for some players. So in lobby, in the first one, you have the game modes in the game. First, bounty hunt, which is the main game mode of the game. You play randoms, you can invite your friend. Or you can just play. So what is bounty hunt? It's the same thing that you play in the training. You find the clues, you banish the boss and you extract the boss. Easy. But this time it's with players. There is up to 12 players per one match and it can be made of trios, duos and solos. If you disable this option, it can be made only of solos and duos. Quick play. Quick play. As I said before, it's 15 minute quick game when we are solo against other solos. You can choose your character, you can choose your loadout here. But, but remember, I don't recommend quick play to new players because in quick play there is no matchmaking right now. So you can get matched against the best players of the game. So if you want fair and balanced matches, play bounty hunt. In quick play you can run around but you most likely gonna get wrecked. Trials as I said is the offline PvE modes which you can see each compound of the game have each trial for it. So you can complete those and get some free rewards. As you can see for the trials you earn stars. And for the stars, you get the rewards that you see on the screen. And here you have training mode if you wanna replay it. And this type contracts, it's probably gonna get removed because you can't do anything right now. There is only a random contract. So you are in training mode. Until ranked 11, you will not lose your hunter. So I would recommend you playing on a single hunter until you are rank 10. And once you know that you are gonna be out of rank 11, aka out of the training mode, you wanna retire your hunter, because for retiring hunters, you get free XP. There is the scream, the trials rewards, there is your stats, don't care about them. There is the challenges, aka daily missions, which is also gonna be reworked into quests, but I don't know how that's gonna look, so this might change in the future. Uh, there is this tab, you wanna skip this one, it's nothing interesting. And here we have last match. Here you will see all the details from the last match that you played. Another tab, roster. In this tab, you'll probably most of the time. And here we have your hunters, your loadout. You can recruit new hunters if you click here. And as you can see here are the new hunters. Every time you refresh the roster, there is hunter for free. So we wanna click it and recruit free. Nice, you got another hunter. After every match you play, you can press free reshuffle to reshuffle your hunters and you can buy new one. Again, you can buy the one for free. So in the roster, you have another tab, Equipment. It's basically if you click it, it will show you the guns of your hunter. But honestly, no one really uses this, so every time you wanna change your stuff on the hunter, just press on the guns or press on the tools and you can change it here. 
Then we have upgrades, which will send you to this, which is basically a trade points that gives your hunter some special powers or some perks. But again, instead of clicking this, most people click here. There is gonna be plus, and you can add trades here. And then you can respect. If you don't want any trade, you can click the trade and remove the trade. If you respect the trade, you will get the points back and you can buy a new one. As I said, there is event happening, so there is new tab event. And yeah, you can play for the event. Here you get certain rewards for the milestone you collect in the game. Not really important right now. Another big tab is recruitments, which I already showed you. Here you see your hunters for bounty hunt, you recruit them. But what if you play quick play? Well, in quick play, you keep your hunter only if you win. So, if you win in quick play, your hunter is gonna be here, Soul Survivor. And here, if you win a quick play match, as you can see, it's gonna be here and then you press for free. And then we have the Legendary Hunters. Legendary Hunters, it doesn't mean anything, they are basically just skins that look cool, that's it. You can buy, there is, as you can see, some DLCs, you can buy some for robot bonds. And this is why I said complete the tutorials, because for the tutorials you get the premium currency blood bonds and you can buy some legendary hunters. Here you have a store which will show you what skins are in a sale, what can you buy in the sale. So legendary, as you can see here are legendary weapons which are only the skins. It's a lot of them, the UI is gonna get changed so it might look different now. There is all DLCs, as you can see some are in the sale, whatever, you can buy them. Next step is Legendary Hunters, it's basically an overview of all Legendary Hunters. As you can see each of them have like different animations for them. Pretty cool. Here is Blood Bonds, if you wanna buy the premium currency. Here is Events tab, which is a special tab for the event. And as you can see the prices are pretty big, so you don't wanna do that. And last we have Bundles, but it's pretty expensive as you can see. But I guess, I don't know, if you buy Bundle here. You can maybe buy this, get some free skins, as you can see. Okay, next we have Arsenal, which is basically a store that shows you all the weapons in the game, custom memo in the game, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All tools, all consumables, basically everything you can use in the game. Library. Here is manual. It shows you basically some tips and tricks, how to use stuff, how to invite, how the matchmaking works. If you want to understand the game, I guess read this. And here is Monstrum, which is a book about the lore of the game. If you kill certain boss, if you kill Spider, if you kill Grant, you'll unlock this page, then you can claim it and you can read more about the lore. And here you have Book of Weapons, which also gives you lore, as you can see here. But, but this might be useful if you want to unlock new variants. So there is Springfield, which is default rifle. But let's say you want to unlock Springfield Marksman, which is Springfield with a scope. You do that by getting 100 XP with a Springfield. And as you can see, this apply for everything. So what is all, all this on top? So here you, you can see your bloodline rank. Here you can see your hand dollars, which is the game currency. Here you can see blood bonds, which is the premium currency. And you can buy skins for those. Here is the trial stores that you get in the trials. Here is the event bar. Here is Dark Tribute. If you play a few games a day, you might see this pop up. You click it, and here you can give offering for XP you earn in the games. You will not lose anything by this, so if you can do it, do it, it's for free. If you can do this and you click give offering, you get one of those rewards that you can see on the screen. It's basically extra rewards for playing the game. You, you can link your account to get 5000 handlers, sure. Here you change your region. Oh, maintenance. And if you don't want to listen to me, then you can press this and it will show you all and everything what does it mean. In each tab, you can press this and you can read exactly what does it mean. Ah, so when you are new to the game, there is some secrets that you might not know, but there is free skins you can claim. You go to store, you go to legendary, and here you want to press on the sword by price. If you sort by price, you can see some skins cost zero blood bonds. Well, unlock them for zero blood bonds. And get yourself some new skins. Nice. There is more. Vanguard. Unlock. And you get the skin for free. Another one. Mosin. Whoa. So basically now you, you got the end game rifle, which is probably the best rifle in the game. And you, you got it on rank 1. Amazing. 
So now I recommend you playing with Vinifield because it's default weapon, it's pretty nice. But you can equip the weapons that you got from last match. Double click to unequip stuff. And yeah, you can get the end game rifle in the first game ever if you want. You can also get other skins you unlocked. In tools and consumables I recommend copying what you see here. Always bring a knife, always bring a medkit and those two are up to you. You might use something better than spyglass and electric lamp, but in consumables always bring with shots and always bring something you can use. So I'm gonna copy it, I take knife, I take medkit, here I can take spyglass, sure, or I can take fuses. Here you wanna always bring at least two vitality shots, there is weak ones and there is strong ones, and I cannot see anything else. Okay, I'm not sure. I think it's bugged because. Okay, the menu is bugged because I don't have anything unlocked here. I think I should have at least dynamite sticks, no? Okay, the menu is bugged right now, so I cannot show more stuff. But there is like dynamite sticks you can take, so take those, I guess. And now I want to give you a tip how to level up very fast. So, as you can see, until rank 11, your hunter won't die. So, I recommend play on this one hunter that you have here play bounty hunt until rank 10 or 9 and then once you know you're gonna get out of the training mode this hunter will be probably level at least 25 if hunters are above level 25 you can press red higher and for each level you get 100, 100 xp so if your hunter is level 30 you get 3000 xp what does it mean with 3000 xp you're probably gonna jump a lot in your bloodline rank so it might happen that i don't know you're gonna be rank 10 and once you retire your hunter, you're gonna jump to like rank 14, so you unlock a lot of new stuff. From here, you are pretty much good to go. I hope you're gonna get some head start to the game. And if you wanna see more guides from me, go to my YouTube channel, click playlists. And here you can see guides playlist. You click that. And feel free to watch any guide you want.